Hello, hello! Hi, Bree! And welcome back to Ghost of a Tale, finally! I, this stream almost did not happen, I swear to god, the universe was conspiring against me to not stream this game tonight. But we're here! I know mostly what we need to do next, and we're gonna do it. So, I got home and got sick because my stupid stomach is like, Oh, I have a pain! I must vomit immediately! Sorry if this is too, uh, too gross for anybody. It's TMI. Uh, so I got sick. Not because I was really sick at all. I felt fine beforehand and fine afterwards. But my body was just like, you have to unload everything that you ate for lunch now. Chop chop! Even though you just had a bacon sandwich and some potato chips, it wasn't anything weird. Anyway, so that happened. Had to clean that up. And then I was like, okay, everything's fine, right? Fine. I ate supper. It's all fine. I watched a little bit of this game. Uh, the little guide that I'm following. Enough to know kind of where to go next, but I didn't spoil myself. I was good. Uh, yeah. Because I got I got sick, but it's no big deal. My body just reacts to any anything that goes wrong in my system. My body's immediately response is just to hit the eject button. Immediately. It's dumb. I wish it wouldn't do that. Uh, anyways, and then I came out here to stream the game, got all set up, settled down, started in, started the game, and my mouse wasn't working. Just on the game, it was working fine everywhere else. It's like, that's super weird. I tried it a couple more times. I tried restarting the game, of course, was my first attempt. Then I verified the files on Steam. Everything's fine. Then I restarted the computer. Nothing. I plugged the mouse in with its little USB. Do I remember Melissa's brother Leo never had the urge to hurl? So jealous. I mean, but in a pre-industrial society, he would die because he would get poisoned and not be able to get it out of his system. Anyways. <laughs> uh, my body is just really primed to get poison out of my system immediately. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, then I finally was, I restarted the computer, still wasn't working, verified the game file, still wasn't working, plugged the mouse into its little USB cord that I normally don't use because it's a wireless mouse, still wasn't working. Uh, then I googled it and it was like, unplug all your other USB peripherals or you could try using a controller. And I realized after some fiddling, I tried to start the Xbox controller and it wasn't properly starting. And I was like, the game is trying to read the Xbox controller that I have the USB plugged in, even though the Xbox controller itself is not even turned on. I think it must have gotten itself messed up because we had a power outage yesterday morning for a couple hours. I didn't hurt anything. It was all fine. But I think it must have like messed up the controller input somehow enough to make me have to reset it, which I had to do a couple times when I was using the controller to play Final Fantasy. So I unplugged the dongle for the Xbox controller. Suddenly everything's fine again. So uh, we're just going to get in here and play some Ghost of a Tale. Here we go. Yep, everything's fine. Uh, where was I at? 11.12, is that the latest one? Yeah, the auto save was there. So this save is my most recent save. Anyway, we're all good now, and we're gonna get into this little mousy game, and we're definitely gonna bust that smuggler's ring tonight. I figured out I was trying to do it basically before the get the plot got me there. I should just follow it along with the plot, trust it in the plot, and we all get there. So here we go. Okay. Also. Huh, huh. Uh, where's the exit? Up here? I remembered where the strong box is! I remember- and by remembered, I mean I googled it! Trust the system? Never, right? But the next thing I'm supposed to do on my quest is talk with Silas. And that's gonna be- that's gonna lead me to the smuggler things. So, like I said, I just watched a little guide. I didn't watch enough to get spoiled about the actual stuff, but, uh... Enough to be like, oh, that's where I'm supposed to go next. I'm just a big old goober. Just a big old goober. Is this the stairs for the... Yeah. The strong box is in here. I remembered it. 
I remembered that I had definitely seen it before, but I couldn't remember where it was. It's in here. Yay! Let's see what's inside it. Some money and two pine cones that I can't even carry. Well, that was worthless. Why did I even get that key? Whatever. Let's go talk to Silas. <laughs> all good, all good. Everything's fine. Uh, I guess I gotta put my armor back on to go talk to Silas. Okay, here we go. Clank, 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 clank. Well, it wasn't too much of a detour to go check the strong box because it was right there where I, near where I saved. So I'm not, it's all, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go talk to Silas. Be like, um, Silas, uh, you told me my wife was on that ship, but she's not on that ship. But I found out this other ship that she's on. So could you help me out, please? I did all the things that you wanted me to do. Silas. Hey, Silas. Hey, Silas. Uh, so yeah, other than the puking that I did at the end of the day, everything was fine. Uh, we got some cute puppies at work. That's not Silas. That's not Silas at all. It's just a guy. Hey. What are you doing here? Oh, I was, oh. Let me steal his handkerchief while I'm at it. Hey, give me your handkerchief. Okay. Now tell me where Silas is. That scrunt mouse has still not been caught. He's been spotted down in the harbor. Uh, I'm not going to tell you the termites thing because I already find out, found out who all the termite guys, the all smugglers are. Uh, I'm looking for a Silas. Where is he? Silas? I think he was headed for the commissary. He didn't look very happy. Okay, he is in the kitchen. Uh, let's just go back down in the basket. That'll be the quickest way back to the kitchen, I think. Nickel, hi, yeah, I was just talking about the complications of my str of starting the stream this evening and how my body has an extreme... Basically, anything that goes wrong in my system, be it a headache, a stomach ache... Whatever. Even if it's fairly mild, my body just hits the eject button immediately. And that's what it did when I got home from work this evening for no discernible reason that I can tell. Felt fine beforehand. Pretty fine. Felt fine afterwards. Uh, but my body was just like, you have to vomit. Have fun. But it's fine. And then I had to fight with this game to make the mouse input work. Because for some reason, I think because we had a power outage the other morning... Even though I've restarted the computer since then, this game decided it was going to try to read the Xbox gamepad input instead of the mouse input, even though the controller was turned off. So I had to unplug that to get it to work after a little bit of troubleshooting. Where am I going? I just got lost. Oh, the commissary. I came downstairs instead of going to the commissary. Because I got busy talking about my problems. Everything's fine. Yep. Yep. It's all good now. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're going to go talk to the cook who's actually the chief of the smuggler's ring. Again. Actually, we're going to go talk to Silas because he's in the kitchen here. The commissary, I mean. Have I stolen everything from everybody in here so far? I think so. I stole your hanky. Uh, did I steal this guy's hanky? If he even had one, sure. There's a guy over there. There's Silas. Hey, oh. What are you doing over here? Skull! Will you not have a drink with me? You know my name. Have we met? Who else could you be? You're as small as they say. I'm Flack, by the way. Private Flack of the Night Watch. Uh, how goes your day? Just glad to be in from the cold. Okay, I'll, I'll... Bye. Bye now, Flack. You really wanted to talk to me for some reason. Silas. Silas is drunk. Look at those bubbles. 
All right. <clears throat> I gotta try to do drunk voice. What do you want, mouse? Are you soused? N nope. Silence is drunk. What is it, mouse? Why won't you let me be? I can smell it on your breath. You're soused. You're scrunt. Expect that from Carol, not from you. It's not just me and the frog. Everyone thinks the same. Really? Everyone? I don't know. You tell me. Why are you soused? The real question is, why are you not? Dead son, mission wife. I'd say you use a drink. Okay. <laughs> you. She. I mean, yes. But why is he the one getting drunk? Quiet, or you'll get me caught. Psh, nobody here cares you're a mouse, mouse. They only care that you're a criminal. Pakov over there, though, he hates mice. He's also a criminal. Hey, Pakov! Pakov! Oh, no. Okay, nothing happened. Good. I was like, is he actually gonna get me caught? <laughs> Full sauced. We better sober him up, I think. I'll ask the cook to make you a tonic. Help sober you up. You do that if you like. I'm staying here. A drink needs drinking. That was my best drunky voice. I'm not good at it. Fun fact, I've never been drunk. Hello, smuggling ring boss lady. There you are. I've been wondering what had happened to you. I need a tonic. To help sober someone up? Silas, is it? What's happened, do you think? No idea, but I've never seen him so far gone before. Whatever he found out about those silver rings and the stuff I brought him, it sucked. Somebody needs to get him out of here before there's trouble. Tell you what, my love. Go find out for me who wants what to eat. And while you're taking the food out to the tables, I'll do my best to whip up the tonic. How does that sound? All right, I'll take the orders. You make the tonic. I'm. We're just tr very trusting. <laughs> Drinking a dragon. We're so trusting. This granny lady tried to poison us, and now we're like, eh, it's fine. We could team up and do work in the kitchen together. <laughs> Only if the drink is soda. Yep. For sure. Your character- the characters can get drunk. I can do drunk characters. She did give me pie. Yeah, and then she poisoned me. This is not- Not good. Good, good. Now go and let me work. Alright, I guess I'll go ask people what they want to eat. You didn't lose enough last time. Hey, I won last time. If you'll recall, Bellar. I'm taking orders for the kitchen. What can I bring you? You are? Let's see. I'll have a filet of Vaelian trout. Okay, he wants trout. I feel like we're gonna have to remember this. Everyone remember it real good. I'm not gonna write it down. There's only four people in here. This table's taken. I suggest you find another seat. What's your name, friend? Pack off, and I'm no friend of yours. I'm taking orders for the kitchen. Can I get you anything? Aye. I'm hankering for pie. Bring me the cook special. Cook special coming up. Pie was after poison. Great. Incredible. Okay, so we got, uh... Trout. Uh, cook special, which is pie, I believe. Have you changed your mind about that drink? 
This guy's lonely. I'm taking orders for the kitchen. Are you hungry? Oh, I. Would you bring me a roast leg of lizard? Many thanks. All right, lizard leg, pie, fish. Silas, what do you want, you drunk bastard? God, your moss gone. Mara wasn't on the ship. She traded places with another prisoner. First your son, now your wife. At least they have each other now. Well, what do you mean? I mean what I said. She's gone. I tried to do right by you, Tilo. Just leave me be. I don't understand. What's happened to you, Silas? You had your chance. Get out of here, mouse. Go on. I thought he was going to cry. You should at least eat something. Cheese wheel. He wants the cheese. Silas, I too want the cheese. Do you want any food? Belar's trout. Yep, Pavlov. Pakov is pie. Flock is roast lizard. Silas ate my wife! That is dark, Nickel. I don't think we'd practice cannibalism here in the kingdom of the rats and mice. I mean, unless things get desperate. Actually, I'm pretty sure that frog pirate that we talked to said something about cannibalism. Didn't he and his captain, like, eat each other's legs at one point? Anyways. <laughs> Smells good in here, doesn't it? Alright, you do not want any food. Okay. I got the orders, termite queen boss lady. Oh, don't you look fine. Here, I have all of the orders. All right. He's just highly suggesting that she is dead. He really is. I wonder if he knows something. It's not cannibalism if they aren't the same species. Interesting point. If you as a talking sentient human were to eat a talking sentient person of another species than you. Is that still cannibalism? Or is it just ooky because you're eating another sentient creature? Even if it's technically not cannibalism. <laughs> it's dark. That's dark. You haven't seen him sprint yet. What? What about sprinting? What? What ghost? I haven't seen him sprint yet. This feels like a question for the Beastars fandom. Don't don't creatures in Beastars actually eat each other and it's like a weird thing? Doesn't the wolf guy like get with somebody who's one of the wolf guys get with somebody he ate part of or something like that? His stride. Oh. Nickel hasn't hit his stride yet, huh? Okay, great. Let's just, uh, let's just serve the food. I don't want to know about whether the lizards that we're about to serve Private Flack were sentient or not. The special for Pakov on table three. Violi and Trout for Bellar Lar over on table one. And a wheel of cheese for Silas. The cheese is in the pantry there. You'll need this. Well, go on. The food's not going to serve itself. Okay. And just like that, I got the pantry key. See, I told you guys that I just needed to follow the storyline and I could get into this pantry that I kept trying to get into. He ate part of the deer guy. He wants to sleep with the bunny girl. Okay. That's what's going on in V-Stars. Good to know. I've definitely read fic. You'd cut out someone's eye and cut someone's throat and collect their blood last D&D session. That was for science, probably. Alright, what do we got in here? Look, the last footlocker key that I needed. Incredible. Oh, the strongbox key again. And look what's in here. The smuggler's ledger. The evidence that Rezia is the boss of the smuggler's ring. Bam, just like that. I... Should have just come in here and done the next thing in the quest line and it would have just taken me to the other quest. Oh, should I burn this? I told my friends I would burn it. 
Where's my candles? There we go. Ta-da! Oh, that is a big cheese wheel. Okay, let's go take this to Silas. Those were practical mutilations. I like how Bree has jumped in to defend Nichols' D&D &D mutilations of people. Nina was fascinated by the physiology of the Duergar. Perfectly reasonable. They're a species you don't see that often. You just wanted to know, you know, what makes them tick and all. Here's your cheesy wheel. Put down. There you go. What's this? Cheese. Silas is like me, loves cheese. But unlike me, he also loves getting drunk, apparently. Okay. I got the cheese. Okay. Alright, okay, hold on. This is a pie. Trout pie. Wait a minute. No, yeah, okay, the pie goes, this is a pie, so it goes to the other guy. Even though it's a trout pie, it's trying to trick you. Strange doesn't mind mutilation, she just doesn't particularly want to do it herself. Alright, I saw a trout, which is for the other guy. This trout pie is for this guy. I thought that was the special. Fine, I'll go take it away. And put it somewhere else, since he doesn't want it. I thought it was a pie. I, I can't put this down now. I'm stuck with it. Can I not put it back if I made a mistake? Just put it down. Okay. The carrot pie is the special, apparently. I should have asked about it. I thought about it. You were right. What's your special? The carrot pie. Yep, okay, I'll get to it. All right, all right. Let's grab the trout. You were right, Bree. There were two pies, and I didn't notice until I was already there. I messed it up. Okay, you get the trout. This fish is dry and overcooked. Just how I like it. Okay, good. Good for you. Have your dry, overcooked fish. Okay. Lizard leg. Let's do that one next. I like how they threw an extra food item in there just to confuse you. Thanks, game. Thanks, game. It's okay. Now Pakov, who already didn't like us, likes us even less. Oh, well. Whatever. I'm not trying to win any rat popularity contests here. Ah, at last. Mmm, smells good. There's your lizard leg. Okay, the carrot pie. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Why do I carry this pie so, like, it weighs a million pounds? Apparently it's a very heavy pie. Finally! There's nothing like a good pie. You didn't like the other pie, though. Okay, we did it! Flack was doing the stabby game and hit his own finger. Aw, oh, he did! Look, he's like, oh, it hurts. <laughs> but he's still doing it. Okay, Flack. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm tough. Oh, I'm not that tough. Ow, I keep cutting myself. <laughs> there he is. It's done. All the food has been served. All right, here. The cook gives you a small glass bottle filled with a green liquid and stopped with a cork. Tiny mousy hands. My tiny mousy hands can't carry the food that well. Is that what you're saying? Give this to Silas. It'll put him out for six hours or so. But it should take the edge off his hangover. If you can find him. Excuse me? Well, look, your friend Silas. He's gone. What? That drunk bastard ran off on me? Ah. 
practice makes perfect until you run out of fingers. Great. Gotta find Silas. Great. Did he go back? Did he go to sleep it off? Hopefully. Uh, I guess we'll go back to his cot and see if he's up there. That seems like the smart thing to do, right? Oh, no, I need to go this way, around this corner, down here. At least it's not too far to go up to Silas's little bedroom area. I do need a laughing emoji. I also haven't updated, uploaded the Delilah one yet. Dang, I suck. I'm terrible. I need to do, put that on my to-do list. Yes, I did get the angry emoji, Bree. I just didn't put it on the in the thing yet. I didn't upload it. Because it slipped my mind. Because my mind is so slippery. Like a bar of soap. In a wet bathtub. Where's my lantern? Here we go. I know, I'm sorry. Nope. No. Did he go upstairs? I doubt it, because if he was already asleep... Oh no, he is upstairs. Okay. Ugh, it's you. Look, I've got something for you. I told you practice makes perfect, but then they told me nobody's perfect, so I stopped practicing. Exactly. Silas waves his sword at you, still in its scabbard. I've got something for you. Here, drink this tonic, then get some sleep. Can't sleep yet. Messages coming in. Need delivering. I'll deliver them. Don't fret. Silas takes the tonic bottle and pours its contents into the approximate region of his mouth. Just kind of splashing it all over himself. Like the kittens when we give them the ultranasal vaccines. And they jerk back and then they get ultranasal vaccine in their mouth. It's okay, it's still in the mucous membrane. Mm, sorry, Tilo. Okay, he's gonna sleep for six hours. Great. Love that. Let's go talk to the commander, I guess. What time is it? 7 p.m. Ugh. <laughs> Don't forget where my wolf is. Exactly. Okay. Oh, where should I go? I gotta let him sleep for six hours, but I don't think the commander's still in his office at this time of night. Or I would go talk to the commander about the smugglers. If I go... Where does the far... Where's the ramparts? I think I still have to go down in the basket over here. Maybe? Let's ride the basket back down. Squeak, squeak, squeak. It's a very squeaky rope. I should put some oil on that next time I'm up here. Poor Silas. Is it poor Silas? We don't know why he's drunk. Maybe he did something horrible. This goes, I think, out to... The tow the armory area. Right? Is it fat? No, the other direction is definitely faster if I'm trying to go to the commander's office. I'll try to go to the commander's office. Oh, excuse me. And if he's not there, then we will go take a rest until morning. He did not eat our wife. Now, he might have gotten our wife killed somehow. But I do not think he ate her, Nickel. Just calm down. No one's eating each other in this game so far. Uh, this way's fine. 
Do I need to do any... Why did I come down here, actually? The commander's office is upstairs. I am the worst! Jesus. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Go see if I can talk to the commander, even though it's kind of late at night and he might have gone to bed already. If this guy tells me to come back in the morning, then I guess I will. I need to speak with the commander. It's the middle of the night, scout. Can wait till sunrise. Okay, no, he will not let me in. At the moment. It's 8 p.m. If I sleep for six hours, I'm just going to have to sleep all night, probably. No! No, Nickel! Uh. Why? What's with all the cannibalism? Why? Why the cannibalism? Let me check my quest and make sure there's nothing else I can do in the middle of the night. Yeah, pirate costume. I haven't found that yet. I haven't found all the urns. I don't know where they are. I need, really need to talk to... And I haven't found the last missing guard yet, but I think that's still in an area that I can't get to. Love makes people tender and juicy. Come on. Come on. This is a cute game about mice. I mean, I do know that in uh, the wilds or whatever, rats will occasionally eat mice. Let's go to sleep. Oh god, that's gonna be 3 a.m. Yeah, I can't do anything at 3 a.m. We're gonna sleep till 7 a.m. Because I need it to be morning. I've definitely... So as a snake owner, I have definitely put rats and mice in a basket together before and come out with uh, less mice and fatter rats. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. That was a normal clothes change. But this is a more civilized world. I'm sure the rats do not eat the mice. Can I see the commander now? Thank you. Okay. Commander! Who probably knows exactly where I am based- who- Exactly who I am based on my uh, last interaction with you. I'm back. Tell he killed him on sight. Very civilized. No. Skull! This is rather embarrassing, but could you take a look at this? Oh no! The commander gingerly offers up his tail for inspection. <gasps> He's got ring tail! About a third of the way from its tip. You notice an ominous scarlet constriction, angry and inflamed. Is it serious? It... It looks like ring tail, sir. My... Father suffers from it terribly. Perhaps I can find you some relief, sir? See what you can do. Yeah, now I have to go talk to Faustus about the ringtail. Sir. Oh, I didn't get the last obol. I've discovered the true identity of the master. Oh, and who is he? Are you sh sure you want to know, sir? Don't be ridiculous, Scow. Out with it! You hand the ledger to the commander. He opens the book and leafs through its pages. Omarezia? It's hard to believe. But there it is, written in her own hand. Thank you, Scow. I'll deal with this myself. Now, take this to the smithy. Okay. Perhaps there's more he can do for you. Okay. Uh, I should get on, sir, with your permission. Of course, of course. 
I forgot to go get the last, uh... Oop. I feel kind of bad that I got Rezia in trouble, but also she tried to poison me, so... You reap what you sow. Uh, okay. I need to... Get that last obol, talk to the commander again, and then I will... Get my armor fixed up at the blacksmith. The commander, on on overall impression, has been nicer to me than Rezia. Also, he might be secretly on my side all along. Okay, now I could give. I should have gone and got this first. Whoopsies, wasting time having to tromp around back and forth. It's okay, it's okay. We'll go back up to the office. Commander's still there. We didn't waste too much time. And then I will drop my armor off at the blacksmith and go talk to Silas, I guess, even though it's going to be a pain because the blacksmith is going to be like, it's going to take six hours to fix your armor. In the meantime, you can't, you have to hide from everyone again. Blech. Annoying. I'll wear the ranger outfit so I won't get arrested at least. Yes, Scow, what is it? I need to speak with the commander. Don't keep the commander too long. He has a lot on his plate today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I could drop off my armor and then go see Faustus. There's less guards in the way. It's because I'm wearing this clunky armor, Nickel. If I have my other outfit on, I'm much faster. The armor makes me slow and clanky, because it doesn't fit very well. So, Scow. I presume the smugglers have yet to be identified? Sir, I've discovered the identity of each of the five smugglers. Go on. You present the commander with the scarred obols, each bearing the name of one of the five smugglers. <gasps> I gave them- I gave him their dog tags. I mean, their rat tags. Excellent work, Scow. I'll have them arrested, tried, and executed before the week's out. So mean! Now. Would you tell take this to the smithy? You know the drill by now. Okay. I should get on, sir. With your permission. You're dismissed. I, got, I gave him the rat tags. Dog tags or rat tags? It's like the dog tags, but they're rats, so they're rat tags. Okay, you're about to get in trouble, guard, because I turned you into the commander. You were always kind of rude to me. This is your payment. Okay. Rolo, can you fix up my armor, please? Gosh, I am so slow in this stuff, but I don't have to hide from everyone. So it's very nice. Ha! Huh. Join the Red Paw, I see. Was there something you needed, Private? Smithy, I have orders for you. From the commander. Is that right? He said you'd know what to do with them? I'd like to tell him what to do with them. The blacksmith takes the papers, breaks the seal, and reads. Alright, so I can either work on your armor, or teach you about these spider traps. Uh, I already know about the spider traps. It's fine. Tell me about the armor. Fix the armor. Let me think. I can make you a new chest plate. Take some weight out the helmet. Should let you move a lot more freely. You might even be able to run without getting exhausted. Excellent. Or it's going to take me at least eight hours, though. And I'm going to need your armor again. Alright, here's the armor. Eight hours, understood. Now, do you have any more surprises for me from the commander? I, if you have time, uh, not just now. You know where I am if you change your mind. All right, was there something else? Uh, thank you, no. I'm going to put on the Red Ranger outfit. And we're going to go... 
yeah, it's down here. Right here. Do, do, do. I'm not naked. Oh, did I not put on the ranger outfit? Hey. There we go. Oh well, it doesn't really matter, but with the ranger outfit, basically, even if they spot me, they'll just question me. They won't throw me back in jail. Let's go talk to Faustus while we're armorless. Because that way I won't have to sneak around everybody as much. Wait, Faustus? Yeah, this way. Faustus! You know how the king, the duke, the baron, sorry, it was the baron. I'm not naked. Oh, wait, yes, I am. I wasn't naked. I had my hat and my belt on. So I technically wasn't naked. Okay. <sighs> hey, Faustus, you know how you got thrown in jail because you didn't cure the baron's ringtail? Yeah, you want to you wanna try that again? Ah, mouse. What news have you of the outside world? Sir, I've heard the commander has ringtail. Oh, and what concern is that of mine? I thought you could use this time to perfect your cure. Ha! <sighs> Very well. The apothecaris takes a small jar from the cupboard and hands it to you. Give this to the commander to be applied twice daily. Let me know if there are any side effects. Yeah, side effects. Was <laughs> that naked officer? I was wearing a knit cap and a belt. Exactly. That counts? For mice. Uh, the commander has issued a warrant. The master will surely have fled by now. Fled? Then that means... No, the cabal has too long a reach. It's best I stay here for now. Okay. Forgive me, but I should go. Okay. Well, I talked to you. I wonder if I can get up and talk to Silas without having to wait for my armor. I mean, I can just sleep again. That seems like a lot of sleep, though, don't you think? Hmm. Oh, I know what we should do with our time. We should save. Very important. Yeah, by definition, I wasn't naked. Because I had clothes on, even if they... It was just the bare minimum of clothes. Oh, I could burn some banners. That's true. Are there any banners in Faustus's little office down here? Ugh, burning banners is such a pain. And I haven't been doing it as I go, so there's so many left. Ugh. But I'll try to burn some banners. Hmm. There's a couple over there. There's one here. Ah, that was a weird camera angle. Uh, there's one there. How am I going to burn that one? It's up really high. Oh, wasn't there a stool down here? Oh god, I walk so slow with the stool. I think I can also throw the exploding pine cones at the banners to burn them, like the ones that are up high. But it seems like a waste of pine cones, personally. Can I use my candle from here? Eh. Hey, <laughs> got it.
All right, where's this guy at? Eh, not super close. This guy's asleep. He doesn't care about me. Oh, there's a banner in the other room. The banner over here. Let's just do a little light arson. What was the letter on the wall? Uh, it was just a little jail notification. I think we read it earlier. Oh, it was the it was the notice that said, um, like, oh, the drawbridge is slightly broken. Be careful, the mechanism's on a hair trigger. That has a hornet's nest in it. If I remember correctly, I shall not be taking that. Oh, there is a bed in here where I could take a little nap nap if I wanted to pass some time. There's a banner down there at the end of the hall. Where's the guard at right now? It's over at the other end. Hmm. What about not burn banners? I'm supposed to burn the banners. You said you wanted me to burn them. It wasn't me. You don't know. Yeah, for some reason, Nickel. So here's the deal. The spiders that we ran into were huge. Definitely mouse-sized. But... Not to take a nap. <laughs> you said not burn banners, Bree. What am I supposed to take out of that? Yeah, for some reason, bees and hornets are like normal size, but almost just like a little bigger than they would be regularly. But, um... Uh, the commander summoned me. I'm here to track down the escaped prisoner. The commander must be desperate if he's turning to mercenaries for help. Open your bag, now! Strange. It holds more than it should be possible. This guard is impressed by my giant pouch of giantness. Oh no, it's an exclamation point. Sorry, I was bad at reading. There it is. I could smell it from over there. Now get on with you. Thanks. You turd. Is there a place I can hidey hole if I burn the spanner here? There totally is. Okay. He went back to sleep. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Ah! I've been roared by Hades! Hi, Hades! Welcome to the stream. I mean, we do have, like, an infinite holding pouch. Alright, I'm gonna burn this. Hide in here. I'm invisible. You don't know where I'm at. Going good, going good. Uh, I had some episodes before I could get stream started, but everything's good now, Hades. I had to fight with my mouse because it did not want to recognize it. For some reason, it really wanted me to use my Xbox controller, even though it wasn't even turned on. It was very strange. How are you doing tonight, Hades? You nearly napped into stream time. I mean, napping is also important. Now I'm going to have to hide again from this guy, because he's going to be like, Oh, the banners! And then he woke up. We're committing a little light arson as part of our gameplay tonight. You know, just some some happy little arson. Uh, was there any banners down here in this cell? I don't think there were. It's all just ooky. Yep, no banners down here. Oh god, that is a tight camera angle. I don't like that. Oh, I should put my candle away if I'm not actively burning things. 
Uh, any banners in here? Any secrets that I missed when I was in here before? I don't think so. Looks fine. Bitsy. No. Uh, where am I? I got super turned around. Okay, there's the guard. Bitsy, you're... No, this is not helpful! Is dog cam frozen, or is it just on my screen? <gasps> Dog cam might be frozen. Uh-oh. Y'all can't see the dogs. I mean, you can see the dogs, but not in real time. Twitch wasn't working for you tonight. Gross. Terrible. Yeah, the dog cam seems to have frozen. Ah, Bitsy, get off. Let me see if I can fix it real quick. Yeah. Hi! Oh, thank you, Nickel! Or thank you, Hades, for gifting a sub to Nickel. I appreciate it. Let's see if we hide that and then we unhide it. That didn't do anything. I feel like I might have to unplug it and plug it back in. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Thanks, Hades! You're the best! Actually, I meant to do... Hades, you've been streaming some lately, right? Let me do a little a little thing. If my bot is working, who even knows if it is or not? Uh, go check out Hades' this channel, you guys. Is it going to do it? Yay, it did it! been playing Horizon Forbidden West. Listen, I got I to gotta check the, the thing. Okay, we unplug it. Plug it back in. <sighs> no? Still nothing. The love, it burns! Oh, come on. Ah, properties. Hey, we fixed it. There we go. Little webcam troubleshooting there this evening. I feel like the power... So the power went out for a couple hours the other morning, and it seemed like everything was fine, but I feel like that always throws off all of my stuff. Hello, doggies. Yes, you're being good doggies. We're just taking a break for doggo, doggo petting because all the doggos are so needy. The new, the new chair bed that I ordered for the doggos is apparently lost in shipping. Your profanity-laden channel making the devil himself concerned. No worries. I am not concerned by profanity, even though I'm not much of a swearer myself. Okay, there we go. We fixed the camera. Take that. Now you can see the doggos. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel like the power went out. It just broke everything. Uh, did I already burn all the banners in here? I think I did. Nope. I definitely didn't burn any banners when I was here before. I was a bad arsonist. I've only got one more banner to burn. Nice. Is there one in the sewers? I'm right here close by. Let's go take a look. All those traps that I set off earlier. Treat the doggos! Oh, Bree redeemed a doggo treating session. Okay, okay, here we go. Hold on. Ah! Everyone just look at my cute mouse and his infinite ghost lantern that I got given by a ghost. Let's position the camera nicely so you can see his cute little mouse face when he turns to look at you. He's like, are you guys seeing this? Nickel, you're an innocent, ever-loving angel? I do not believe that. I know! I'm gonna have to get order a new bed. If it doesn't show up within the next two or three days, I can get a refund on it and I'll order a different one. Sits. Good Bitsy. Good Amelia. Delilah, you're sitting in the bed. People can't see your beautiful face. 
Take it, take it. Okay, we did it. We treated everybody. There we go. The doggo faces turn into lasers, exactly. They're super focused. I wish they would send me an RTX 3090. My computer's running just a 1660. I think it's 1660 Ti or something like that. They are excellent with the word cookie. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Lies and slander. How do they say such things about you? Quite easily, Nickel. Mister, I own the poison, for horrible poison forest in Final Fantasy Die. All right, all right, girls. Let's get back to some game here. We gotta, we gotta do some stuff. I gotta find another banner to burn somewhere. Where even am I? That is the pit. I don't want to go in the pit. I want to go the other way. It's not into a pit. Oh. Where's the non-pit direction? I wish I could zoom out a little bit. This way. Were there any banners in the sewers? Maybe not. I can't imagine people would put banners in the sewers, right? What did I just say? Done! I can report the crime to the commander and be like, someone burned all the banners. I don't know. You need to finish playing 7 so you can revisit Final Fantasy X. I broke it all. Who is the real bad guy here? Not not me. I am I was the good, the hero. Super heroic me. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're good, we're good. Final Fantasy X, I remember playing that one in high school, but I don't remember a lot about it. I remember the junction, there was like a, a weird leveling up system with gems. That's all I remember about Final Fantasy X. I remember Final Fantasy VIII the best. <laughs> Alright, where's my guard, the guard dude over here? Why do you need to finish 7 before you can play 10? Okay, that card's going to come to here. I mean, even if he sees me, he's just going to question me and maybe take some of my stuff. But uh, I would rather not. Where's that guy? Is he coming? He's totally not coming. Hop in here. Is he count? Is he? You remember ten the best? Bree, didn't you kind of play all the Final Fantasy games vicariously through your brother? You just watched Ian play them. Is he coming around the corner or what? I could have just gone. Okay, here he comes. Oh yeah, I can see the little. I have the little white flare that pops up now because I have this the extra good hearing. Okay, we did all the banner burning that we needed to do. Uh, where's my armor going? How is my armor going? No, where? Waiting for Rolo. It'll take eight hours. Has it, it has not been eight hours yet. No. Not even close. And I can't report to the commander right now because I don't have my armor on. I don't think I can show up in the commander's office and be like, Hey, it's me! Ten's the only one you could remember beating, huh? Alright. Uh, no, I wanted to go in here and we'll take a nap. We'll just sleep our way until our armor is ready now. Maybe four hours? Was that long enough? Yes, okay, good. We did it! And we did auto-save at the bed, so... Oh no! Okay, good. Okay, I was gonna be like, it's too late! Silas is gone- or Rolo's gone! No, he's still here. We're good. 
I only slept four hours from 2 p.m. Eh, how goes it with my armor? Eight was probably the weirdest. Seven has the most content for the entire series since it spans like almost ten games. That's true, they kept coming back to Final Fantasy VII, I feel like. What I remember on Final Fantasy VIII the most is I got stuck because I somehow missed one of the, I the summons, the Eidolons that you were supposed to get way early on. I somehow missed it, and it was one that I kind of really needed to get past this fight. And I was trying to go back and get a different one that would also help. It was an optional one, but I couldn't get the items. Because I didn't have the Eidolon that I needed with the resistance that I needed. Or maybe I just didn't understand how the resistance wor resistances worked. And I finally just ended up brute forcing my way through that spot. And I did it eventually. Advent Children was really good for its time. I have not seen Advent Children. Just finishing up now. I'm just finishing up now. Okay. The blacksmith takes a cloth from his belt and gives the armor a quick polish before offering it to you. Good, give it to me. This is as good as it's going to get. Anything else I can help you with? Thank you, no. Okay. So now if I put the armor on... He literally just handed it to me and I can't change clothes next to him. Back already. Was there something you wanted? Uh, Smithy, I have orders for you from the commander. Oh, I... What is it this time? Okay, so I can't do any more with the armor, so I'll do the spider traps. Well, now. I can teach you how to spot a hidden trap so you don't fall into one yourself. Please, I want to know how. Method of detecting hidden traps. Cool, I learned a new skill. It's nice seeing Vincent as a useful character, not a forgotten plotline. Eh. We're all done, then. All right, then. Was there anything more you wanted? Uh, thank you. No. All right, let me get away from the blacksmith, then. Apparently, I have to go to Privacy Corner to change into my armor. I mean, I'm a little bit faster. But I still am not that fast. My top running speed in the armor is now kind of like as good as my walking speed when I'm not in the armor. Jeez. And my stamina bar goes down. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Uh, it's still... Oh, I probably can still make it to see the commander. It's 630. <coughs> let me in, let me in, let me in. Make it quick. He's about to have his nap. You got it. I gotta report a crime. Some... You didn't open it. Oh, that was weird. The door didn't open the first time. Okay, we got it. I gotta report a crime! Uh, the crime... Someone's been burning banners! It's terrible! Uh... Here, sir. I have an ointment for your condition. Wonderful. Give it here. Oh, bless you, Scow. You're one of the good ones. Now. Oh. Take these. It's the least I can do. Have I? Can I get more done at the blacksmith? Commander. Thirteen banners have been burned around the keep. Thirteen. This is great Beerham all over again, Scow. A sign of things to come. So remi I'll remind ourselves, Great Beerham was a garrison of the Red Paw, and it got burned down as a protest after a mouse got arrested for insulting a member of the Red Guard, and they killed the mouse, and the Sons of Asper, who are the mouse rebels, burned it down. Yep, I'm not going to read it all out, but that's the, that's the gist of it. Aye, it starts with burning banners, and ends with a mob at the gates, and the garrison in flames. It's that damned mouse scow. Remain silent. The one from the jail. He's behind this, I'm sure of it. Is he? I'll have Yuva send reinforcements. I promise you this. History will not repeat itself on my watch. I should get on, sir. With your permission. Very good. You may go. I leveled up. Look at me. 
I'm so good now. Okay, let's go talk to Silas. I went too far. Let's go ride my squeaky basket elevator up to talk to Silas. Now that I sobered him up, right? That's what I need to do next. Oh, look! My quest thing has become sh so short. Okay. Silas should be awake by now. Oh, I can uh, I can get some honey. Can't I? I thought these gave honey every 48 hours. Maybe it hasn't been 48 hours since I put the bees back in there, though. Uh, who knows? Anyways, where's my basket? Right over here. It's kind of dark. That looks weird when I equip that light in the basket. Look, I'm just trailing flames. Cold flames. Dead flames. Yeah, I have so much stamina now. I kind of like the way this game does the level, the health and stamina on, like, one bar. It's just like, your health is your stamina. Easy. Uh, where's Silas now? Is he in his house? You better not be drunk in the commissary again. Silas! Uh, no, nothing to steal in here. You're awake. Tilo? You're awake. Tilo. I've been looking out for your scats. I think they've taken a liking to you. How are you feeling? Awful. Well, you deserve it. You shouldn't have gotten all drunk and stuff. Don't be so angsty. I've not been that south since. Well, you made the tonic? The cook. It was much appreciated. Forgive me, I should go. Tilo, in the commissary. I said some things I shouldn't have. Ah, you did. I hope you can forgive me. What was it you were looking for in that bottle? Heh, that's a delicate way of phrasing it. A murder of crows, the song. I'm sure you must know it. Please, sing it for me. All right. Don't hold back. All right, murder of crows, here we go. This is the song where we diss the rats. The true nature of creatures is shown. Names by which each is collectively known. I've heard tidings of magpies and seen murders of crow, crow, crows. Nope, nope, I'm bad at this. Smell the surfeit of skunks with a peg on my nose. Met a mischief of mice who were masters of crows, and a sneaking of weasels who were light. On their toes, but the rats are the worst, as well as everyone knows. Cause a gathering of rats is a plague as it goes. Now that's off my chest, I have this to propose. That the creatures of whom I suggest we dispose. Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the, it's a, it, the rat dissing song. Heh, your version is tamer than the one I know. The pups in my village used to sing it. I remember I thought it was funny. I liked the way the words rhymed. So he was probably, it sounds like he was raised by mice. He had those lutkas. I didn't realize they were singing it to me. Not until my Oma chased them off with her stick. Oma? Then... I. You... You were raised by mice. I was. Your birth parents? What of them? Oh, I often wondered about them. Who were they? What became of them? Oma might have had some gray in her coat. 
Her memory wasn't what it once was, but she told me what she could. All the same. It wasn't enough? And then, when the day I left for Yuva. Oh god, Streamlabs freaking out. Silas opens his paw to reveal the finely engraved silver band he'd shown you at the Brazier's side. Yeah, we're finding out all the Silas backstory now. Oma gave me the silver ring. From your true mother, she said. That must have been hard for your Oma to say. I was so angry with her for keeping it from me. I should have known it was for my own good. Oh my god, there's so many! Questions I can ask him! What became of your birth mother? Sure, let's ask that one. Who can say? I don't even know her full name. You're... How did you come to be in your Oma's care? My mother had come to the village one night, unannounced and in a panic. She begged Oma to take me in. I would have been no more than a few weeks old. It was the last time Oma saw her. Do you remember anything of your birth mother? Just vague impressions. And a lullaby she used to sing to me. Oh, I want to hear the lullaby! Your mother... Who is she to your Oma? Oma had been my mother's nursemaid years before. She told me mother was a doe of great piety. Your mother's lullaby. May I hear it? I have not much of a voice, but... Oh, we're gonna hear it! Lavender sky, come undone at the seams. You're prince of my heart, and the king of your dreams. Moonlight's felled blooming, while lavender dies. Stars above dreaming. The gleam in your eyes. Oh, that's a nice little lullaby. That's all that I remember of it. It's very beautiful. Like mother, by all accounts. Your father? What of him? Oma would only tell me that he was a good rat. Good rat. Ha! Huh. Interesting. I don't understand. How did that first ring lead you here? It didn't. A few months before my discharge from the rat guard, I found a second silver ring. Ah, so many questions! You were... Okay, let's skip over the discharge part for now. The second ring, how did you find it? Where? It's not a short tale. Are you sure you want to hear it? I want to know. How did you find that second ring? All right. I was assigned to a convoy, escorting the Baroness from Pesa to the capital. On the fourth night, we made camp at the Temple of Karam. But no. Warden Wardens of the Green Flame, the heroes of the Battle of Paraclave, were laid to rest in twelve great tombs, arranged in a vast circle on the southeastern edge of Lake Vialia, symbolically watching over the place where the green flame fell. In the centuries since, many of the tombs have fallen into disrepair or collapsed entirely. Others have been fortified to establish a line of defensive keeps along the shore. The names of all but four of these heroes have been lost to time, but their deeds are celebrated still in songs and works of art. It's from these sources that the four greatest are known. Dwinlin, the guardian of lost hope, Karam, the guardian of travelers, Jarlin, the guardian of music, and Nikto, the guardian of the wind. The temple's almost in ruins now. You've been there? With Mara, but of course we weren't allowed in. I was ordered to escort the Baroness to the reliquary, so she could offer Karam her, player, her prayers. The reliquary? What's it like? It's seen better days, but Karam's remains are still there, laid out in an open sarcophagus at the head of the temple. Footnote. Okay, that's the same footnote again. It was as the Baroness knelt before the altar that I saw it. A ring, almost identical to my mother's. 
hung on a chain around Karam's neck. You said the two rings were almost identical? The design engraved on the second ring was different. It made me wonder if there weren't more of them, waiting to be found. And so there were. Wait, you stole from a corpse? Finding it there it was fate. It's hard to believe. Look, I'm not one for superstition, but there it is. In time, I learned that other rings had been discovered in the tombs and temples of the Wardens of the Green Flame. Some had been stolen, some lost. It's taken me years to track them down. Why are these rings so important? What are they? They're the famed Tail Rings of the Rat Kings. A record of succession going back to the time of the Great Green Flame. I never understood their significance. Why they'd been left with the Wardens of the Green Flame. Not until I opened the scroll case you found. You were discharged from the Rat Guard? Why? I'd served five years. My time was almost up. But soldiering somehow came easily to me. It was something I was good at, so I re-enlisted. Besides, the Red Paw has access to places civilians can't go. That's how I found the second ring. Okay. And you found others. The ring Gusto and Fatal stole. I have eight now, all told. Eight rings and this silver scroll case. Yeah, I want to know what you found in the scroll case. The scroll case, the puzzle. What was it you found in there? A message. From my father. From Silas's father? Okay, so Silas is like the secret heir to the throne. Is that where this is going? The brat hands you a scroll of parchment, brittle with age. Delilah is messing up the blankie down there. Here, read it. Okay, I'll read it. I'm so good at reading. Let me just, uh, let me just step aside over here. Silas is the secret heir to the throne. Prayer scroll. Master of the Salamander, I offer you this ring. So Master of the Salamander is Dwayne because in the song, uh, she rides the salamander. Just, okay. I offer you this ring, relic of noble kings of old. May you accept it in tribute to your grace and as a promise to return what I have took this day. Warden of the Flame, guardian of lost hope, Grant me courage to persevere and strength enough to prevail. For my kingdom, my kind, for Brendis, my one true love, and Silas, my firstborn son. R. R. Roderick, the coward king, the one that ran away and has the song about how he's a, a turd and that's why there's no rat kings anymore? Mmm. 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 Okay. Well, Tilo, what say you? The message. It's from your father? Yes, it's got to be Roderick, the Coward King, right? Aye. It's a prayer? Aye, to the hero Dwinlin. But if what this says is true... My father was Roderick, the last Rat King. The Coward King! Yes. He famously fled his charge in a time of crisis more than 30 years ago, just when he was most needed by his subjects. He disappeared with the singing stone in order that no king will ever again sit rightfully upon the throne. He lives on in infamy, a figure of ridicule in many a song, the most famous being the Ballad of the Coward King. Yep. So many! You're Roderick's son, but that makes you a prince. No, no. <coughs> makes me the son of a coward. What was it your father took from the tombs? Whatever it was, he swore to return it. I guess he didn't keep his word. Will you keep searching for your father's treasure now? Why, I found what I was looking for. What now? Would you reclaim your throne? My throne, ha! Huh? The mongrel son of the coward king. I'm sure the barons would gladly give up their power to so noble an heir. Besides, the singing stone is lost. 
The Singing Stone of the Rat Kings, or the Stone of Ascension, is a carved jet black piece of rock about the size of a rat's clenched fist. Its origin is lost even to legend, but its importance is known to all. This is straight out of dealing with dragons! The heirs of a rat king are not assured the right of succession. Any rat may challenge for the right to hold the stone. It's said that the stone will sing the praises of the future monarch, if they are indeed worthy. But the stone has been lost. Some think Roderick took it with him as he fled, in order that no usurper could steal the throne in his absence. Others, however, believe that the barons of the Red Paw have buried the stone, so they might rule the rat lands unopposed. Interesting. Yeah, this is just like in dealing with dragons. They have like a trial with uh, Karen's stone, or what is it? Colin's stone. That, but to become king of the dragons. Same method. Hi, Solaria! We're finding so much lore out tonight. So much lore. We found out that Silas is the secret heir to the throne. And all kinds of stuff. Oh, we busted the smuggler's ring? How's your evening going, Solaria? Hope you're having a good time. I'm going to take a break and take a drink because I'm thirsty from reading all of this narration. <laughs> okay. Let's keep going. Puzzling and eating. Addicted to puzzles again. Me too. I wanted to do so many puzzles today. Okay, let's keep going. Maybe I'll do a puzzle stream sometime with everyone do puzzles together. Chat can do puzzles with me. Oof, I had to troubleshoot the heck out of this game before I could start it, Solaria. It kept trying. I think I finally figured it out after I like restarted a couple times and verify the game files. It wouldn't read my mouse input and it was trying. I think it was trying to use my Xbox controller, even though the controller was turned off it was still trying to use it and it was like overriding the mouse it was super weird oh i need to buy crystal a birthday gift too brie i think her birthday party's on the same weekend as celtic so i don't know if we're gonna make it to the party yeah i don't know why i was doing that solaria i think it's because maybe it had to do with the power outage that we had a couple days ago maybe the computer didn't shut down properly and it janked it up I don't know. Super sick after after work she was? Bree, why are you typing like Yoda? Christmas, you already saw Christmas stuff at Costco. I know, the Halloween stuff is out, and the Christmas stuff is hot on its tail. Anyway, <clears throat> let's keep going. Singing stone is lost, the stone that they used to choose the future kings of the rats. So nobody can be king now. Ah, uh, I understand now why your mother hid you away. Shame. If the Red Paw thought there was an heir to the throne, barons would have had me killed, I know. This is why you were soused. Wouldn't you be? Silas's tale sparked something in you. You hummed to yourself the first few notes of a new lay, the Ballad of the Orphan Prince. Yeah, we're going to write a song about Silas. Well, now... Well, now, that's enough about me, don't you think? How goes it with you? Silas, Mara wasn't aboard the ship. She'd given up her place to another. Aye, you might have said something about it in the commissary. Do you know the name of the doe who took Mara's place? Pharaoh. Mara gave her place to a doe named Pharaoh. What the dog doing? The dog! Yeah, Bree's mom has trouble deciding on things and remembering things anymore. She's scratching her booty. That's what she's doing. Everyone's being very good doggies and taking good naps. Yep, yeah, she's got to scratch those elbow flags. The fluff that's just on the elbows. <laughs> okay, uh, Pharaoh. Did you get her family name? No, but she had a son named Tam, Tamlin. Does that help? No, it's not enough. I can't send out a scat without the full name. Else Yuva's going to start asking questions. What about the ship the door was meant to be on? Do you know its name? She was aboard the Rathskellen, out of Port Skarn. 
<coughs> that was not the rat skeleton. I have a better memory than that. Ah. Uh, eh. That sucks, Bree. Delilah, you can't play the game. Listen, don't come over here and put your patty paw on the mouse. No, don't do it. Thank you. I, stream, I sneeze on the stream so much that Bree made me a sneeze emote. Deli, can you get down? Can you get off? Thank you. She's <clears throat> <sighs> doing better than her mom at the same age, like a hereditary thing. Treat the puppies! Oh, the puppies are getting double treats tonight. Somebody else redeemed that earlier. That's okay. They can have a few treats a stream. It's fine. Uh, do I have enough cookies left in this bag of cookies? Double treats. Yes, I do. I have another backup bag of cookies that I brought out here. Cause this one's getting low. Okay, sit. One for Amelia. Sit. One for Bitsy. Bitsy, get out of the way. Bits. One for Delilah. Good job. Okay, that's it. Good dogs. You got some cookies. Say thank you, Solaria. <laughs> you silly doggos. Millie's up here kissing me in the face now. No, get down. I gotta keep going. No, stream's not over yet. Good girl. Doggo laser eyes, yes. <laughs> nice. Bree is in charge of emote design on this channel, so, you know. Give her your emote suggestions, I guess? All right. <laughs> Delilah, ay, 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 don't be naughty on camera. Nope, nope. That's the dirty dogs. Okay. <laughs> no humping your sister on camera. That's very rude. Even if she doesn't mind. Alrighty. The Raskelin. Tilo, let me fetch my logbook. It's on the table downstairs. Uh, here, I already have it. You stole my logbook? I, I thought you might need it. Come on, give it to me. I pick up everything. That's my whole job in this game, is to pick up everything that I see. That's how you knew Duder was feeling better. He started humping Elva again. Aw. Rude, Duder, but also I'm glad he's feeling better. Alright, let's see. Signal rat... The signal rat opens the log and runs a claw down the page. Here, part of a general news dispatch received on the 13th. Is the 13th passed already? The prison transport arrived here on the 12th. Tilo. The Rathskellen was reported lost in the cloak of Paraclave. Oh no! The ship sank! Surely not. This game is not going to pull the... the Rug out from under me. <laughs> Elva gets mad at times, but they're both fixed, so no baby buns. Good. <laughs> Don't need more baby buns. Deli, shush. You got so much playtime today. You came to the office with me and everything. Lo lost? Perhaps you misunderstood the message. Listen. On the twelfth day, the Rathskellen, crewed by nine, laden with sundries and carrying twenty-seven prisoners, was reported late by the harbor master at Arandas. The vessel was last seen by the bosun of the Emerald Hide. Okay. What's a Aran Where's Arandas? Oh, I didn't read the footnote. Oh, well. Of course, and heading into the Cloak of Paraclave. And so is pronounced lost. What's the Cloak of Paraclave? Tilo, I know you don't want to hear it, but Mara is gone. 
I'm sorry, but she's still alive. I'm sure of it. Even if she were alive, there's no way for us to trace Mara now. You may as well ask a magpie. Among magpies, knowledge is a commodity and a currency, prized above all else. Each fragment of information gathered is carefully evaluated for its relative worth. Okay, I've already read this. Basically, magpies are hoarders of knowledge. They're considered to be the custodians of truth. Such value is placed upon their council that only heads of state and nobility can afford it. Okay. I saw a magpie earlier. Y'all? Delilah's like, play with me, Millie. Stop being so boring. I did see that magpie earlier. It scared the poop out of me, because I thought it was going to eat me. What did you say? You've heard that expression, surely. Wait, you mean... No, Tilo, no, 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 no. A magpie. You're going to get yourself killed. Besides, magpies will only speak with noble creatures and kings. The island of Paraclave, blah, 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 blah. The cloak of Paraclave. Is it like a- is the Cloak of Paraclave like a permanent fog zone? You didn't have to Google it, Bree. But thank you. Magpies and mice. Re following the War of the Green Flame, noble mice were stripped of their titles and mouse lands were confiscated. So we were traitors, apparently, during the Green Flame War. We were bad. But that was like hundreds of years ago. Mice have no king nor wealth. And so it is that no magpie has spoken to a mouse in generations. To them, anything less is a meal. Then I shall become a king. Here, then. Hey, I got the tunic! A gift from my father. It's incredible. Where did you find this? In the bundle you brought back from the tomb. I hope you make a worthier king than he ever was. You got it. Okay, so I basically... I need the last part of the king outfit for the next part. And all I have left is the crown. Alright, let's go ask Rolo if he knows where the crown is, because I sure don't. Been all over this place 50 times. At least it feels like it It's occasionally. So we're going to ask the blacksmith where the crown is. He should be able to point me in the right direction. Rolo, I need to buy some advice, please. I have plenty of money for your retirement fund. Hup. Ah, get out of my way, sir. Oh, he's not here. It's nighttime. Son of a biscuit. He's down on the shore, probably. Or sleeping somewhere. What time is it? Guess we're gonna sleep another night here. I mean, I could go try to look on my own, but I feel like that's gonna take forever and be a pain. So we're gonna sleep until a normal wake-up time. Sleep for 10 hours. The amount of sleep that I get on the weekends, if I'm lucky. It's morning! Rollo, Rollo. All right there, Mo. All right there, Mouse. Was there something you wanted? I'm trying not to give him and Silas the same voice. Uh, I'm looking for some items of clothing. Oh, tell me what it is you need. I need to put together a costume for a king. Aye, I can help you with that. You got six florins? Very well, here, take it. There's many a noble rat buried down in the catacombs. And the commander has fine clothes for ceremonial occasions and the like. Could you make me a crown? I'll need gold. Seven nuggets at least. Seven nuggets of gold. Alright, seven nuggets of gold. You'll have it. I have eight nuggets of gold! I See? this My pack rat tendencies have paid off. You miss sleeping in, Solaria? 
I did a oopsie with the girls and taught them. Delilah, I thought she would grow out of it as she got older, waking me up at 6 a.m. to go potty. She kind of did, but the cat learned that he could wake me up at 6 a.m. and I'll feed him breakfast to make him be quiet. So now he wakes me up at 6 a.m. every day. But the good part is I usually like get up at 6, let everybody out, feed the cat, let everybody back in, then go back to bed for another couple hours. So I still get the sleep. It's just interrupted sleep. Uh. I. I have the gold for the crown. Here. Let's see. Oof, the quality's not great. But it'll do. Alright, your majesty. Give me six hours and you'll have your crown. Six hours? Alright, I'll be back then. Six hours, and not before. Anything else I can help you with? Uh, what else do I need? Zoe, Zochi wakes Savannah like that, but when she visits the parents, mom will do it instead. It's because your mom has been suckered by the kitty. Uh, Smithy, I have orders for you from the commander. Alright, let's see those orders then. What else can you teach me about the traps? Listen now. I can show you how to rearm a trap. Spring is tricky, but there's a knack to it. Could be useful when there's a spider up your tail. Please teach me how. Nice. I have learned all the skills. We're done then. All right. Was there anything more you wanted? Uh, no, I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Let's take a look here. I'm working on the king. I still need to find the urns. They're all down in the catacombs, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I missed one of the roses, and I think I know where it is. The squad guy that I need is down by the magpie. Okay, let's go look for the last rose. I think it's uh, in the tower in the middle of the far... In the building in the middle of the far tower, so let's see if I can get there. What's the fastest way there, I wonder? Oh, far tower. Wait. I know the fastest way there, and it's definitely not this way. I don't need a stick right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> Grandmama, look upon the empty bowl. I shall surely starve. Your mom falls for it every time. I think it's faster to go uh, through the armory and then up the the tower over there. I think. We'll go this way regardless. And I will put my uh, ranger outfit back on so I can be a little speedier. Oh, oops. I almost put the wrong hat on with my guard outfit. It would have been a disaster. They would have seen right through it. So I think if I go out here, not the other woods, I think I missed a jump up spot. I think. I'll look here, at least. And if, you know, I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. If it's not here, then it's got to be probably down on the shore, because I kept getting lost there. And I don't know if I explored it all properly. Feel like I need to save soon? You could be right. Uh, I think there's a save spot in here. Or something I can use to save. Let's see. Maybe? Well, I definitely need to change back into my ranger outfit. Did I get the rose that was up here? Oh, I think I did. 
Is there one up higher? No, that's all thorns. Okay, so I did get the one that was in here. There was one in, in this little area. Hmm. The other one's got to be on the shore then, maybe? Take a look. Oh, we should grab some more pine cones while I'm here. Okay. I'm full up on pine cones. Use the red mist. Oh. I found out when I was watching that little walkthrough, I messed up what I was supposed to do on this part. So I was like throwing pine cones to break the planks. You can push this barrel. And it'll break the planks. Alright, let's go ahead and save here. Since I found a save point. Hi, can Uh, no. We did not find Mara. In fact, Mara might be dead. We found out she was on another ship than the one she was supposed to be on. And that looks like a secret over there. I mean, it kind of is, but there's nothing in here. You can hear the guard outside, though. Um... Yeah, we found out the boat that Mara was on uh, sank, or it's lost, so uh, she could be dead. But Tilo's like, no, I don't believe it, she can't be dead. There's no way. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I came back in here because I thought there was a rose in here that I missed, but there wasn't, so let's leave. The last rose might be... Somewhere I haven't been yet. I'm waiting on the blacksmith to finish my crown. For the king outfit. I've been collecting... I collected a bunch of nuggets of gold without even knowing what I needed them for. And so I had plenty. So I could just do the smith thing. But it's going to take a little while. Oh, now I can rearm the trap. I would not want to do that out here because I'm just going to hurt myself. Okay, here, roses. Any roses around? I think I looked everywhere out here already. I mean, they're pretty obvious, right? I don't think I would have just missed one. I changed right in front of him. You don't know nothing, rat. Apparently that didn't count as, clothes, as changing clothes in front of someone. I do not need any more mushrooms, but I'm going to pick that mushroom up anyway. Mm, no. I don't see any roses. I'm just killing time waiting for the blacksmith to finish my crown for the next part of the quest. That's the way to the other area. I looked all around over here. Hmm. Let's try going this way. And look. If I jump down from there, I'm definitely going to die. I might have been alright jumping down from there, but, you know, let's not take any chances. I feel like I would have seen a rose in this area because I looked everywhere on here with the red mist looking for mushrooms. So I should have seen it if there was a rose here. Right? There was one here that I picked.
Mm, don't see anything. We may never see our wife again. So all we will have are these roses to remember her by. So I want the last one. Why do I have my armor on being super slow when I don't need to wear that right now? Anything over here? No, I definitely looked over here. Because there was a thing that I lit and there's a bunch of thorns. You are lit tired! Sorry, Bree. I am good, Kant. How are you doing this evening? Oh wait, let me do let me do a shout out. I should do that. I keep forgetting. Boop. Okay. Uh, Kant and I, and actually Solaria too, I forgot to mention it. I don't know if she's still in there. So I'm eight feet without assistance. Nice. You will be a dolphin in no time. Ah, I missed. Here you go up here. Any roses up here? Don't see any. Uh, but tomorrow, Kant and I are going to be doing... Kant talked me into doing a fad stream with him. Phasmophobia. So y'all can see how chicken I am. Oh god, okay. This goes to... The cliffs, where I always, the shore, where I always get lost. Oh no, I'm technically in the harbor right now. I thought this tunnel went to the, uh... Oh, this is the other tunnel. This is not the tunnel that I thought it was. Never mind. I don't want to go through this tunnel. Wrong tunnel. The door down here is where I want to go through. Maximum shenanigans. What are maximum shenanigans, Kant? What's maximum shenanigans? Aren't there... Okay, this here is where I need to go to get back out. I gotta remember that. Yeah, this little part right here. And you come out right there. I'm still going to get lost. Baz should be fun. It's dark. It's a horror game. I'll get jump scared probably. I uh, I don't know how to play. I, I do know the basics. We've played it a little bit before. I found more gold. I'm rich as heck. So you zigzag back up here. I'm just going to be constantly backtracking to make sure I know where I'm going. To here. Is my thing done yet? Wait, nope, still not done yet. So I might as well run around down here and look for the last rose. It's easier to explain in voice chat after chat, but a lot of interactions. Okay, is that where they like chat messes with the game? Okay, this brazier here, this is where I need to climb up. Which I can do. It's these two big rocks. Okay. 
I hope everyone's paying attention, because I am trying to pay attention, but I'm bad at directions. Okay, so we got to climb up this little step, up these rocks. So when I come to this pathway, make a ride up the rocks, basically. Did I miss anything here? Nope, I opened this chest. Let's go ahead and save here, because I can pretty much... Voice chat after stream. Most of the roses seem to be in the courtyard. I got all the courtyard ones already, though. I'm only missing one rose. I'm. It might be somewhere else. Like, they might be like, oh, we're going to save the last rose until you're almost done with the game and then give it to you. But I thought I would go check in case I missed one down here. Up there is where I need to go. But if I go this way, it goes around somewhere else, right? Yes. This goes to the cave that goes to the harbor. Yeah. Where I don't want to go right now, I'm going to keep going down the slope. Using the red mist to look for stuff. That I missed. This is just a scouting expedition while I wait for, for Rolo to finish what he's doing. Like, I don't think I've been over here. Well, crown's done. Now I'm just, like, in the woods. Lost me? No, never. Okay, let's try to backtrack. And if we can't backtrack, we'll kill ourselves. Oh, this is the proper shore. Have I been all the way down here? Now I'm distracted. What if I want to jump in the lake? I don't think I can jump in the lake. Or if I can, if it would be a good idea. Uh... All right, I think this goes to the harbor, uh, which is actually fine, because if I go to the harbor, I can just go back up the elevator. Right? Yeah. We'll go this way back. I just like to get lost all the time, so... There are only three in the shore area. Okay, I think I got those. Which one have I missed? Hmm. 12, 13, 14, 15. I should already have them all. Shouldn't I? I mean, I don't. Flowers for Mara. I've only gotten 16 of 17. And from what the count that Bree is telling me, did I get the one above the smithy? I'll look. We gotta go back to the smithy anyway, so we'll check out the courtyard. Bree is gonna be our guide. Our quest guide. She's gonna tell us all about the stuff. Go on by, please. Can you, can you go past me? There we go. 
I need to go this way so I can get to the elevator. Thank you. Okay. Nope. That's where I came from. The other door over here goes downstairs. Okay. There are 17. I've only picked up 16. I think I got three from the shore. I definitely remember getting two from the shore. Bree's going to start looking up Rose locations for me. If I don't find them fast. Alright, 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 alright. I don't really care about you right now. I need to go to the elevator, which is over here. Excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Here, elevator. Okay. I don't know if I got the one above the smithy. I got... I don't remember where I've gotten what from at this point. That was a lot of stuff to get. But we are going to head back to uh, Rolo and get my crown. And then I guess we'll go back to where we saw that magpie in the catacombs and try to talk to him. That seems scary. Uh, no, this is the catacombs, silly. I don't want to get off here. I need to go up one more level. I forgot it only goes up one level at a time. Three, four. Three. You listed 18 roses in that list. I just counted it again. One in the northern slopes, plus three in the shore is four, plus two in the tower is six, tw plus 12 is 18. That's 18 roses. Is there a bonus one? No worries, Kant. You are very welcome. Because you are a cool dude. Alrighty. Um, did I get the one above the smithy? Uh, maybe. I don't see one up there. I mean, I can go jump down on his roof and take a look. Let me go see. You're just bad at numbers. It's 11 in the courtyard. I thought we got all of those, but... We'd look... I would look pretty well. I feel like it's gotta be, like, on the... I feel like I might have missed one on the shore still. Because that area is so big... And I'm so bad at traversing it. I know there was one in here that we got. Yeah, uh-huh. Let me go across the top here. Was it the one outside this window? What window? The window I was just by? I don't know what you're talking about. If I hop off here, this is the roof on top of the smithy. Uh-huh. And there is no rose up here that I can see. Let's get our crown from Rolo, though, while we're here.
Ha! Join the Red Paw, I see. Was there something you needed, Private? Uh, how's the crown going, Smithy? Here. But finally, the Smithy takes off his hat to reveal a finely crafted golden crown. Just about your size. See what you think to that. Crown, it's beautiful. The top of the tower above the smithy. It's alright, isn't it? You'll have to show me the whole costume when you're done. You're a true artisan, smithy. Ah, go on with you. Alright, was there something else? Thank you, no! The one you grabbed on the outside of a window early on. Top of the tower above the smithy. Up there? Yeah, I climbed up that tower. We did a whole little thing up there. And I got that one. Uh, I got one up there. I got one off the well here and off the well on the other side. I got one on the roof up there. Hmm. I climbed up this ladder, but I don't think there was really anything up here that I could see. Hmm. No, because I went inside of there the other way. Bree's lurking. She's gonna Google where the, she's gonna Google where the last rose is. I feel like. Okay. Have a good lurk, Bree. All right, we gotta go in the catacombs and talk to the magpie. Oof! It's ten thirty though. Well, we'll do the magpie thing because. Uh, we started a bit late, so I'll go a bit late on the stream. I would like to talk to the magpie. I think we're getting quite close to the end here. Let's go ahead and hide before we go down there. I don't think the spiders and stuff respawn that are in the catacombs, but uh, we'll find out, I guess. And I need to look for the urns. And the last guard guy. Okay. Back into the catacombs, where I also got a bit lost last time, but I'm going to try to do better. That... Using my red mist to look for everything down here. Oh, I should put my... I don't need a guard outfit down here. Anything here? Don't see anything. Looking with the red mist. For anything that I missed. Oh, this is where the magpie was. Let's put on our king costume. Okay, here we go. Wait, where is it? I'm a king! Where's the magpie at, I wonder? I saw him right around here.
Is this not where I need to go? Hmm. Where is the magpie? This is a puzzle. I think if I go anywhere else, I'm going to die. Like down there, I think down there is, is death. Looks very deathy down that way. I don't like death. Hmm. So we're on a different level. Here, magpie. Hmm. Hmm. So the little dot, dot, dot should be like a speaker. And I thought that was where the magpie is. Maybe I need to ex enter the, enter the great hall in my king outfit. Let's see if that works. trying to trigger something to happen. But it's not happening. You guys see a big bird anywhere? I don't. Here, Mr. Magpie. Come here. I'm right here. I'm definitely a king. 100%. Hmm. I don't know how to get the magpie to come out. Where is he? What's it say? Address the magpie as if he were a king. But I cannot get to the magpie. This is how I came down before, and the magpie showed up. He just kind of came down. I didn't do anything. Hmm. I might have to start Googling stuff. All right, hold on, we'll take a pause break. I gotta figure this out. Where is the magpie? The magpie.
Okay. I figured it out. I consulted. You're unlurked. Welcome back. I am a doofer. I had to look up where the magpie is real quick. I should have just kept looking around and I would have found it, but you know. I was on the right track. Ah, let me up. I thought he would just fly down here because that's where he was, but he is not here. He's in a different spot. I was right there. You can open the doors in the middle of this thing. Am I a doofus or what? And there's a ladder inside. Silly. Um, hi. Ooh, you're so fancy. I gotta give this magpie a good voice. Who is this that approaches in the dark? Um, bow your head, magpie. You are in the presence of royalty. A king? Your majesty, this is an honor. I am Ravik, descendant of Miglar and daughter of Elgim. In magpie mythology, Miglar, Miglar is the great winged creator. It's said that she conjured into existence the heavens and the skies and all the creatures who dwell there, simply by speaking their names. Miglar needed only to say the word, and her word became the truth. It's unsurprising, then, that magpies so greatly value the spoken word, or that they hold lies in such contempt. I am King Nor. King Nor the Ruthless, whose armies almost brought the five rat lands to their knees? King Nor the Querulous, quick to anger and known never to forgive? King Nor the Rancorous, who visits swift vengeance upon all who displease him? King Nor the Crepuscular, whose victims' cries haunt the dusk and the dawn? Uh, the very same, and I am in need of your counsel. And I am honor bound to give it, your highness. But first, would you kindly remove the shade from this dying light and illuminate the hall? Illuminate the hall? For what reason? For what reason? I might better see your majesty. Give me the answers I seek and I will help you in return. Forgive me, your majesty, but it's so dark. And I can scarcely see my codex feathers. Codex feathers. All birds have many different kinds of feathers, each serving a specific purpose. Remish feathers for flight, down for warmth, bristles for protection, and so on. Magpies alone possess a set of codex feathers concealed beneath their wings. These feathers are preened in such a way as to function as a mnemonic system, enabling the retention and recall of great volumes of information. Each magpie must take great care to maintain the codex, for it contains the knowledge of their forebears and the history of all things. Wow. Who am I to refuse a magpie's request? Sire, you are gracious indeed. Oh, jeez. Now I have to do stuff. Uncover this dying light, huh? Okay. Um, um, okay. God, I'm gonna die trying to do this. I need to turn my mouse, but I'm afraid. Okay. Oh, such splendor! I trust the light is to your satisfaction, wise magpie. Oh, most illuminating, your highness. How fortunate am I to gaze at last upon your majesty. This magpie is totally into me. Tilo thinks he's so, or totally on to me, not into me. Maybe he's into me too. I, Tilo thinks he's so good at disguises. Tilo is not good at disguises. Everyone knows who he, that Tilo is not who he says he is. I feel like. Tell me. Are those diamonds or sapphires in your crown? 
a little bit of both. And those buttons on your tunic, are they silver or white gold? They're of the finest silver. I could scarcely imagine such wonders. This bird is making fun of me. Strange, though. I'd heard your majesty lost his tail at the Battle of Lies Sands. Uh, oh I, this is a false tale. Certainly sounds like one. Now, Mouse. He's so on to me. Tell me your true name. I'd like to know who it is I'm eating. But, but you gave me your word. I pretended to give my word to a pretend king. For, forgive me, I, I need your help. So you thought it wise to try and deceive a magpie? Yes, yes, you're not supposed to do it. To just, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're either a fool or a thief. A little bit of both? Ha! No doubt. You are no coward. Uh, I'm a minstrel. A minstrel? Why didn't you say so? A minstrel is far greater than any king. Aw, uh, yeah. Sing something. A song I've not heard before. Something of historical value. And perhaps I'll let you live. Uh, the Orphan Prince. Because it's a new song. And it's of historical value. We gotta sing the Orphan Prince. I just wrote this song. The Orphan Prince. From the north through the mountains he came, searching for answers to questions unknown. Destiny calling his forgotten name. The orphan prince is at last coming home. His Oma saw he would come to no harm. Slipped into his pocket her litka of stone. Led by the gleam of his true mother's charm. The orphan prince is at last coming home. White crests on the lake a breaking. Grave and ghost and silvery ring. Before him, castle walls a shaking. Son of mice, an heir to the rat king. This, this orphan prince, what else do you know of him? He has a set of silver rings. Let's see. He, he was raised by mice. Mice? Curious. Tell me more. He is sorely ashamed of his father. Then he does not know the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I mean what I say. Go on. Uh, I think I should have remained silent there. He has a set of silver rings left by his father. The tail rings of the Rat Kings of old. Very well, minstrel. You may go. Wait, Magpie, please. I came here for your help. I've given you your life, and still you ask for more? Great Magpie, please. I came here to ask you a question. By my reckoning, my debt to you is paid. But I brought you light? You tried to deceive me. Did I not pay for my lie with the truth? You merely sang me a song, and I let you live. But perhaps there is a bargain to be made between us. I came to this place only once before as a fledgling, but the tunnels seem to have grown narrower in the years since. I wish to explore the lower hall, but this hole here has shrunk more than the rest. Perhaps you can go in my stead. Ah, <sighs> everyone's sending me on quests, man. So, what is it you hope to find in the lower hall? 
I recall seeing a tapestry adorned with magpies in a great battle. I want you to bring it to me. I wish to see it again with my own eyes. Very well. Ride the dying light down into the lower hall. Okay. Bring back with you the tapestry of the magpie. I'll do as you ask. Alright, I would say I'll be burned by the light. No, you won't because uh, the light is cold. The dying, dying light doesn't burn hot. Can I jump down onto this? Can I jump onto this light? I feel like I'm going to die. So let me save first. Oh my gosh, it's so scary. Can I like call it down here somehow or another? Oh, I can open these other doors. That's nice. I could have opened these doors all along. I'm just going to open all of them. Why not? But I didn't see any kind of lever or mechanism to call down the thing. You look around the outside real quick. Am I going to have to jump for it? Ugh. And if I miss, I'm going to fall down into the Great Abyss. Incredible. Okay. Well, there is a barrel to save in here, so... We are going to call it for the evening, and next time we're going to ride the di this giant dying light down. And see what we can find for our magpie friend. I mean, I say they're my friend. They didn't kill me, so... We're definitely on our way to being friends, for sure. They'll gr I'll grow on them. I'm very, uh, I, I grow on people like mold. Yep. Okay. That's it for this evening. That's all the stream there is. Look at this bird. It's so big. It could easily eat me. I'm not about that. <laughs> Ah, but that's it for Ghost of a Tale tonight. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I think we've got at least one more stream of this game left. See, I think we're getting pretty close to the end, though. Yeah, they got whole new info never before heard. I think I could have found out more about Roderick, though, if I'd, like, stayed quiet in that one dialogue option instead of outright asking the question. And I did feel, even from the beginning when we heard about Roderick, I was like, there's something more to this story that we don't know that, we, that happened with him. Yeah, I think just one or two, one, maybe a one long stream or two not as long streams left. I'll see how much there is to go. Now, let's see if anybody's on. Let's go pop over and see how Bay's Minecraft stream is going. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll do a little a little raid over to Bay's channel. A little modest raid. At some point I'll set a raid command up. I need to make like a list of things I need to do on my Twitch stream. Put the new emote up. Make an actual raid command. All that kind of stuff. But yeah. We will raid Bay's channel. He's playing the Minecraft still. Building a big old base. Doing all the stuff. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for the Faz stream, hopefully. Uh, I will try my best to not die, but I could, I'll probably die a few times to get eaten by a ghost. Why do ghosts want to eat people? They don't even have bodies. Anyways, good night. Bye bye. Good night. We'll do the raid and I'll see y'all later. Have a good one. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. <laughs>